Watson. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Today I rise to acknowledge the incredible work done by thousands of lifesavers right across the Central Coast community. There are 15 clubs on the coast, including eight in my electorate of Robertson, and they form an army of red and yellow volunteers who in the past 75 years have helped to make the Central Coast beaches among the safest in the world. And, and life saving on the Central Coast has been around for 68 years now. I was delighted to learn of this season's statistics from Surf Life Saving Central Coast. 956 lives saved, 37,322 preventative actions and more than 1,000 first aid cases and no lives lost. There are more than 8,000 members on the coast with 2,000 patrolling the sand and in the water for around 94,000 hours every season. Every single member is deserving of praise, but today I want to make mention of a number who received an award at the Central Coast uh, Life Saving Awards of Excellence on Saturday night, including Robert Powell from Umina, Assessor of the Year, from Ocean Beach, Jane Davis, Trainer of the Year, Lynn Smith, Administrator Award, and Peter Lambeth, Life Saver of the Year. Ocean Beach Club also won the Patrol Championships and First Aid Awards. Avoca Beach had two major winners, Damien Benson, Coach of the Year, and Kevin Bootle for President's Award. From Terrigal, Kath Wilson for Surfcom Operators, Tim Schofield, Open Athlete of the Year, Paul Lemon, Masters Athlete. Junior Lifesavers of the Year were Jackson Hines from Terrigal and Jasmine Darwin, who's based at Umina Surf Life Saving Club, both outstanding young people of our future. Champion Lifesaver Awards were given to Gemma Smith, Tegan Miller and Jack Waning from Umina, and Jason Jordan and Shelley Smith from Ocean Beach. And the overall point scorer for Champion Lifesaver Award went to Avoca. Umina won the Club of the Year. Special mention must be made to the President of Surf Life Saving Central Coast, Stuart Harvey, and CEO Chris Parker, and also Mari Ward and Jonathan Donnelly for their hard work and support for our community. In relation to the Terrigal Club, Mr Deputy Speaker, I declare an interest. My husband and I have recently joined, and we were honoured to complete the bronze medallion a couple of months ago. We've joined a patrol, and I have to say it's one of the most rewarding experiences I've had. The sense of teamwork and connection and desire to make a difference is something that really binds the surf life-saving volunteer community together. Volunteers on the Central Coast beaches, and indeed in New South Wales and right around Australia, give of themselves tirelessly week after week, month after month, year after year, with one aim in mind, to keep our local residents safe, to keep our beaches safe, and to keep the thousands of tourists who visit the Central Coast safe in the water over summer and on the weekends. And today I pay tribute to all of our surf life saving volunteers for what has to be one of the most honourable roles you can actually have, that of seeking to serve and to save lives.